Hey, 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 my name is Jacqueline. You can call me a Kriya, and this is a Kriya Designs. Welcome, and today we'll be doing this interesting hover text effect. Let's get started. So, first, what we're going to do is you grab the frame to draw a frame and then darken the background color. Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the text too and then type anything we want on the frame. Next, we're going to set the color to a gradient and then duplicate the text. Then we'll make the text a mask. After that, we reduce the opacity of the text. Great, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle and then we're going to set the color to a gradient. You could use any gradient of your choice. The next thing we're going to do is create a grid of circles. So to do that, you either press O on the keyboard or select the ellipse tool directly from the shapes menu. So, after we are done creating the grid of circles, we're going to group them and then send them to the back of the rectangle. And then we max the circles to the rectangles, just so we get the colors of how the gradient is going to look on the individual circles. Here comes the interesting part. Unfortunately, we can't use the circles because these are like just guidelines for us. So we're going to create another circle outside of this grid of circles and then copy the colors from the grid. So after we finish drawing the extra circles, we separate them and the next thing is we draw a rectangle. This rectangle is supposed to represent the size of our text. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate of the small circle and then add a layer blur effect to the duplicate. Once we're done with that, we'll select both the duplicate and the original copy and then create a component set. Next, we're going to create an interaction for the component. So we'll switch to the prototype tab and then select the circle and drag it to the second circle. And then we'll select while hovering. Make sure the settings are the same as you see. Once we're done with that, we create multiple duplicates of the components. Make sure the number of duplicates is the same as the number up there. Once you're done with duplicating, now we'll change the color of the copies to the various color of the circles up there. Moving on, we'll use the components to create a grid of circles. After we created the grid of circles, we change the colors to match the colors of the circle up there because we want a similar gradient effect like what we have on our left. The next thing we're going to do is copy the gradient and paste it into the text mask. This is how it's going to look in the layers panel. Moving on, we select the first variant of all the components and then turn the opacity to zero and voila this is the first result using the whole ring so the next variant of this animation we're going to create is to make the light linger a little bit after we've hovered so instead of using the wow hovering we are going to use mouse enter and mouse leave with mouse leave we'll leave a little bit of a delay 
say 200 so that it lingers a while after we've hovered before disappearing and voila there we have it as you can see in this animation it lingers a little bit longer before disappearing 